Okay, um, what was your question? Uh, the question was what you were referring to by grain size. Grain size, right. Okay, so to put them in order, you need to know what grain size is, right? So grain size is the size of crystals present. Okay, so um, when you guys were looking at this rock a minute ago, you used the magnifying glass and you were able to see several different minerals in there, right? Which were the ones you were able to see? Biotite and potassium feldspar. Yeah, feldspar. There you go. Very good. Um, so since you were able to see those, that means that we have a large grain size. Um, they can get bigger. You know, they can get it's you know, really big, but not often. Being able to see them at all means that they're large. Um, if you can't see them, on the other hand, such as this black piece here, can I get the camera to come and look at this? If you use the magnifying glass on this one, you can't see any individual grains. Because you can't see any individual grains, um, it's got a very small grain size. So um, along with grain size, to determine the cooling rate will be the uh, texture of it as being frothy, right? So we have a large grain size, a small grain size, and then because these show air bubbles in it, we have no grain size. So these cooled so quickly that they didn't have time to form crystals at all. So now you guys have this in the right order with um, the fastest cooling being on the left and the slowest cooling being on the right. Um, over here, we have a rock that's called pumice. So going from left to right, we have pumice, scoria, basalt, granite. And we're going to talk a little bit about each one of these in the next video.